Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe mtoto mpendwa na msikilizaji wetu. Tunakushukuru na tunakukaribisha katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo ya Destiny Kids. Najua imekuwa ya baraka kwako, imekuwa kikujenga, imekuwa kikusaidia kukua kumjua mungu zaidi na zaidi na imekuwa uh, ya kukutia moyo. Eh? Na najua kuna wengine mungu ameza kujibu maombi yao kupitia ibada yetu ya Destiny Kids. Kwa hivyo hii ibada yetu ya Destiny Kids huwa tunaipata kutoka hapa Kingdom Seekers Fellowship uh, chini ya mtumishi wa Mungu Apostle Kimani na Reverend Naomi na tunazidi kuwakaribisha kwa sababu ni watumishi wa ambao wameitanishwa na jina la Bwana ili waweze kujulisha matendo makuu ya Bwana katika wakati na majira haya ambayo tunaishi. Mimi ambaye ninawaelekeza ni Teacher Rose na nimeokoka na mpenda Kristo na ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Kwa hivyo karibu sana katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo na najua Bwana atakutembelea kwa njia mpya siku ya leo. Si kama vile alikutembelea siku nyingine, just expect from God and you will see what God is going to do. And before we continue with our service, wacha tuombe na tu, ili tuweze kuendelea na our service for today. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru na kulinua jina lako tunasema ni asante tunasema pokea sifa na utukufu maana tumeona uaminifu wako na ulinzi wako ikiwa juu yetu tazama umetupa uhai hata kuiona siku ya leo tunasema ni asante kwa kutuonyongeza siku nyingine ya kuishi ili tuweze kutimiza kusudi lako lililo njema tunasema ubarikiwe na uinuliwe tubariki katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo ya kwamba utatunenea mioyo yetu bwana bariki kila mtoto mali popote yuko baba napo nisikiliza msikilizaji wetu yote yule ambaye ananisikiliza Mungu wangu kamtembelee kwa njia kubwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo maana umetuandalia ibada ya ajabu ya kukutana pamoja nasi na ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kushukuru na tote tuseme amen Bwana ni mwema he is a good god we are serving a good god Ambia rafiki yako pale we are serving a good god yes sasa kabla atuja endelea ni vizuri kwenda mbele za Bwana. Na tutaenda mbele za Bwana katika hali ya kumwabudu na pia katika hali ya kumpraise. Na najua Bwana atotokea kwa njia. Na kabla hatujafanya vile, ningependa tusome neno la kutuongoza katika Psalms 116 from verse 1 inasema I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me I will call on him as long as I live The cords of death entangled me and the anguish of the grave came over me I was overcome by distress and sorrow Then I called on the name of the Lord Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Umesikia vile neno linasema the Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Umesikia vile mtumishi wa Mungu anasema, huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu Daudi. Kama Mungu aliweza kumfanyia Daudi anasema I love the Lord alimpenda Mungu kwa sababu ya yale Mungu alimtendea hmm? anasema ya kwamba Mungu alisikia sauti ya yake kwa hivyo hata sisi leo tunaenda kuitia jina la Bwana eh? kwa sababu yeye huwa anafanya nini anasikia eh? anasema ya kwamba anamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu alimlilia amrehemu for his mercies eh? kumaanisha kuna kitu alikuwa anapitia Nae Mungu akafanya nini? Akamrehemu. Anasema ya kwamba because he turned his ears to listen. Kwa sababu alitega tu masikio yake kufanya nini mtoto? Kusikia. Eh? Nita muita siku zote ambazo nitaishi. Kwa sababu Mungu alifanya nini? Alitega sikio lake. Kumaanisha kwamba Mungu wetu usikia maombi. Eh? Kwa hivyo we are going to pray to God who answers because he hears our prayer. Eh? Anaendelea kusema kuna wakati aliona ni kama kwamba ataisha, atakufa, eh? Lakini anasema 
Mungu alimkomboa na distress na soro. Mimi sijui wewe unapitia nini mtoto? Wewe ndio unaweza wewe ndio unajua nini unapitia katika maisha. Mungu aliweza kusaidia mtumishi wake Daudi. Na tunajua Daudi ni, ni, alikuwa mtoto mdogo na Mungu akamsaidia akakuwa na akakuwa mfalme. Anasema alimlilia Mungu. Eh? Unajua alikuwa mtoto pia alikuwa na chunga hata kondoo za baba yake. Lakini bado Mungu alimsaidia na akamsikia hata akiwa katika hiyo hali. Anasema then I called the name of the Lord. Hata alitaka Mungu amuokoe kwa sababu alikuwa kwa hatari. Eh? Anasema and the Lord saved me. Kwa hivyo hata yule mwenye anataka uokovu siku ya leo, when we will call upon the name of the Lord, he will save you. Yule mwenye anataka kuponyaji, when we will call upon the name of the Lord, he will heal you. Yule ambaye anataka amani, when we will call upon the name of the Lord, he will give you what? Peace. Eh? Kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu mwenye anafanya nini? Anasikia. Eh? Akasema alimtoa hata akiwa low, alikuwa anasikia yuko chini. Mungu akamuinua. Huyo Mungu ambaye alikuwa na mtumishi wake Daudi. Huyo Mungu ndio tunawita siku ya leo. Kwa sababu hajabadilika, neno linatuambia yeye ni Mungu yule jana, leo na hata milele. Yatabaki kuwa nani? Atabaki kuwa Mungu. Eh? Kwa hivyo kama alimtendea Daudi hata wewe atakutendea. Sijui ni hali gani unapitia? Eh? Yu hali unapitia ndio nataka tuombe siku ya leo. Wewe ndio unajua unapitia nini mtoto? Eh? Na kama hakuna jambo lolote ambalo mnapitia pale nyumbani, tunataka ushukuru Mungu. Eh? Unasikia nani nasema I love the Lord. Eh? For his mercies. Hata his mercies ndio natuma hata kama saa hizi pengine unaweza ona una hitaji, eh? It is just because of his mercy kwa sababu umefanya kitu mzuri. Kwa sababu nikikuuliza nini ulifanyia Mungu mzuri sana ndiye akakufanyia aka vile alivyokufanyia. Unaweza kosa kitu la kunia, kitu jambo la kuniambia, lakini ni kwa sababu ya his mercies. Eh? Kama utakosa jambo lakini wewe ndi unajua unapitia nini utajiombea wewe mwenye. Ni vizuri kuanza na sisi before we pray for others. Eh? Kwa hivyo tukimaliza hilo ningependa pia tutaomba kwa ajili ya kanisa. Tutaombea kanisa. Eh? Tuombe ibadai zetu zenye tunakuwaga nazo. Kama unaendaga Sunday school, ombea Sunday school. Eh? Kama unajua kama unaenda ibada na, na mzazi, unajua nini mnafanya, ombea hata Uyo mtumishi wa Mungu Mungu ampatiage neno kila siku eh? ya kuweza kutupatia sawa na we pia ujiombea kwamba wewe unaweza kushika nini unaweza shika neno alafu baadaye pia tutaombea um, taifa letu na mali tunaishi na Mungu atatubariki kwa hivyo ningependa kualika our worship team watuongoze kwa worship alafu baadaye tutaingia katika maombi karibu our worship team Bwana
ukiendelea katika hiyo hali ya kuoship Mungu na kulinua jina la Bwana Eh, wacha tuende mbele za Mungu tumweleze mahitaji yetu tumwambie baba tumekuja kwako na eh, sisi ni watoto wako unatujua unajua ni wapi pana, pana nisumbua ni wapi panauma kama ni mwili unauma ambia Mungu unajua ni mwili wangu unauma niko katika kitanda hiki kama unajua ni fedha tumekosa finances tumekosa Mungu unajua hiyo hali wacha tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru asubuhi ya leo na hata mchana wa leo kwa sababu ya wema wako na ulinzi wako tunasema ni asante Asante kwa sababu unatujua vyema, unajua mawazo yetu, unajua hali zetu Bwana ulituumba, unatuelewa zaidi mfalme. Baba unajua mali panaponiuma ndani ya moyo wangu, kama siwezi kusamehe Mungu wangu, nipe moyo wa kusamehe wengine. Mungu nisaidie Jehova. Asante Jehova ishie milele. Asante Jehova Mungu wangu na baba yangu. Kama nasikiaga nikiwa lonely, pengine sina na wengine wana wazazi Mungu wangu. Nina naombea baba ya kwamba wewe ndiyo baba yao neno lako linasema ya kwamba wewe ndiye baba ya yatima hakuna yeyote bwana ambaye anaweza kuwa baba yao kama sio wewe Mungu wetu asante kwa sababu wewe ni baba wetu sisi wote hata wale ambao tuna wazazi wa kimwili unabaki kuwa baba yetu na tunakuheshimu na kuliinua jina lako unajua mahitaji yetu unajua kinachotuuma kwenye mawazo yetu you know our distress, distress my father tunaomba baba utupe amani mali hatuna amani katika maisha mali tunashindwa hata katika masomo yetu baba na Mungu wetu tuwezeshe maana ni wewe tu utakaye tuwezesha katika jina la Yesu tunakuamini na tunakupenda tunakutukuza tunaliheshimu na kuliabudu jina lako tukijua ya kwamba unasikia We ulimsikia Daudi akiwa kwa shida nasi pia utatusikia maana sisi ni watoto wako ndiposa tumekulilia asubuhi ya leo tuna kuweka mahitaji yetu mikononi mwako asante kwa sababu utazidi kutuongoza utazidi kutupa amani utazidi kututetea utazidi kutuongoza na ni katika jina la Yesu tunazidi kulinua jina lako pokea sifa na utukufu wote bwana asante tuombe kanisa letu hata liwe la Sunday school hebu tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu tunaombea walimu wetu wa Sunday school mali popote walipo baba ukawalinde ukawahifadhi asante kwa sababu sababu wamejitolea kukutumikia tunaomba uwabariki asante kwa sababu utawapa neno la kila siku utawadumisha na kuwatenda mema katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante kwa matendo yako mema Jehova uwatembelee bwana hata watoto wanaohudumia baba ukawasaidia kushika lile neno na kuliweka katika matendo asante Jehova ushie milele wacha tuombe pia kwa ajili ya taifa letu tukushukuru baba uliye mwaminifu kwa ajili ya kutupa taifa nzuri kwa sababu ya kutuumba kati kama huu tunakushukuru na kutuweka katika mataifa letu bwana tunazidi kuomba amani tunazidi kuomba ulinzi tunazidi kuomba kuta za moto wa roho mtakatifu zitawale taifa letu zitawale viongozi wetu zitawale wizara mbalimbali katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante kwa sababu we ni mwema utakumbuka hata katika wizara wa hospitali mfalme tunaomba bwana ya kwamba utaguza hata walio wagonjwa huko na utawaponya katika jina la Yesu. Yesu libarikiwe na liheshimiwe jina lako wacha tushukuru bwana pamoja baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya wema wako na ni asante kwa sababu nasikia maombi neno lako limetuambia ulimsikia Daudi na ukamkomboa na pia ukamurehemu na pia ukamuokoa bwana kutokana na mauti na ukamsimamisha na sisi tunaamini hata sisi nasi umetusikia na utazidi kutusimamisha na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kushukuru na wote tuseme Amen amen our god is a faithful god ametusikia na amejibu na atatenda hata sisi tutakuja kutoa ushuhuda tukisema ninampenda Mungu kwa sababu ametenda amen kwa hivyo kwa sababu ametenda wacha tualike our praise and worship watuongoze kwa praise na tukutukuze huu Mungu ambaye ametenda mema tu amini kwamba ametenda yale tumeomba kwa imani eh imani ndio inayompendeza Mungu kwa hivyo karibu sana our praise team.
Tunashukuru Mungu. Bwana amekuwa mwema. Najua umebarikiwa. Umesifu pamoja na watoto wetu na jina la Bwana limeza kuinuliwa na uwepo wa Mungu umeshuka pale nyumbani na mumeweza kujengeka. Kama unasikia na kikundi pale nyumbani ama na dada yako ama na wazazi, umwambie nimehisi uwepo wa Mungu. Eh? Na waambie na upigie Bwana makofi mwambie asante Yesu. Amen. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu uwepo wake huo umeendelea pamoja na sibada yetu inazidi kuendelea na tunazidi kuhisi nguvu za Bwana tunasema baba pokea sifa na utukufu kwa wema wako kwa sababu unatupenda kama watoto wako sasa tumefika wakati wa kusikia presentation kutoka kwa watoto wetu eh? katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo mimi najua hata wewe zingine hata wengine wenu unajua mna some bible verses Najua kuna wengine wetu wenyu mna neno laimizo eh sio hawa tu 
lakini kuna wengine wenu pia mtajifunza siku ya leo na kuna wengine wenu mtabarikiwa siku ya leo kupitia watoto wetu ambao wataleta presentation eh? Unajua hata kusimama mbele za watu ikuwa rahisi kusimama na kuambia watu eh ati Yesu ni bwana kuna mwingine akisimama miguu inatetemeka ina. kwa hivyo kama unaona una ujasiri unaweza simama eh na useme jambo unaambia Mungu asante eh na pia unaanza polepole hata siku moja ukisimama na usikie ni kama uliogopa kidogo eh hiyo ni mwanzo the next time you will do it better kwa hivyo usiogope jipe moyo eh napo hata wakaribisha watoto wetu watulete they are presentations ambazo zimejaa baraka nyingi. Mimi najua kuna mtoto mwingine watu wengine wanasemaga hata mimi na wish ningekuja kwa studio. We, ujui kile Mungu anapanga, unaweza jipata. Just believe. Unaweza jipata you are one of them. Eh? Na kama si hapa mali pengine ambapo Mungu amepanga. Kwa hivyo karibu sana watoto wetu mtuletee presentation. Praise God, praise God again. My name is Nicole Nduta and I am in grade four and I'm born again and I have a song and two memory verses. Welcome. John 10 verse 10, it says, the, thieves, the thief comes only in order to kill, to destroy and to steal. Proverbs 18 verse 10, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other founds I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other founds I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Melvin. I'm born again. I'm in grade one. I have a memory verse. Welcome. John 10, 9, it says, With anyone, enter by me, we be saved. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Shalom Kada. I'm in class five. I'm born again, and I have a song. Welcome. The fragrance of my worship rose up to the Father, noises, thunderous earthquakes were the response of my worship. The fragrance of my worship rose up to the Father, noises, thunderous earthquakes were the response of my worship. First it was fragrance, then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon, this is how I win my battles. First it was fragrance, then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how I win my battles. This is how I win, win, win. This is how I win. The smoke of my worship release upon the earth. This is how I win, win, win. This is how I win. The smoke of my worship release upon the earth. Thank you. Praise God, praise God again. My name is Prince Jess, I'm in grade four. I'm born again and I have a memory verse. Welcome. First Thessalonians chapter four verse, four verse three, it says, God wants you to be holy and completely free from sexual immorality. Thank you. Wow, we give God all the glory. Tupigia tubwana makofi, matendo yake ni makubwa. He has done as well. He's a good God. Eh? Ambaya metuwezesha. Kwa hivyo tumpatia buwana sifa na utukufu. Najua umebarikiwa. 
na najua wengine wameandika zile bible verses ambazo wameweza kuona zinza baraka kwao na watazipitia baadaye na zitawasaidia kusimama uh, na wale ambao uh, wana tamani pia Mungu awatimizie tamani la mioyo yenu. Kwa hivyo nafasi nzuri tena ya baraka, tena ya furaha kusikia neno la Mungu. Mi napendaga neno la Mungu sana, eh? Kwa sababu neno la Mungu ndio linatuongoza katika maisha, eh? it, it has the map of our life, eh? It has the purpose of our life, eh? So let us listen. Wakati natuonya, tunawacha. Wakati natuongoza tuifuate hii, tunafuata. Wakati natuambia tu, tu, tushukuru Mungu tunashukuru. Wakati natuambia kwamba rejoice, we rejoice. Eh? Wakati natutia nguvu, we give him all the glory and honor. Wakati natuinua, tunamsifu tena tunasema baba pokea sifa na utukufu. Kwa hivyo chukua kitabu chako cha notebook na kalamu ili uweze kupata uh, mafundisho ya siku ya leo kwa njia ya kuu na njia ya baraka. Kwa hivyo ningependa kumkaribisha mwalimu wetu ambaye amejiandaa ili kuwa wa baraka kwetu na sote tumkaribishe kwa makofi na tuseme karibu mwalimu. Haleluya Bwana asifiwe mtoto ukiwa pale nyumbani na msasi na pia mtu yote mahali popote unapotupata. Tunashukuru sana Mungu wetu kwa sababu ya nafasi nyingine ambayo ametujalia kwa sababu ya ibada yetu ya siku ya leo tunakualibisha sana ili tuweze kuadamana pamoja mwalimu wetu Aisha ni Tisha Gladys na tunashukuru tunapoenda pamoja na kwa siku ya leo kwa majina ni Tisha Bonface ni miokoka Yesu ni Bwana kabla tuingie kwa lesson yetu ya siku ya leo tunataka kwanza tuweze kujikubusha kidogo ama tufanye recap ya yale tuweza kufundishwa na Tisha Joseph last time na ninajua ya kwamba tunapoendelea tutaweza kubariki. Nani naweza kubuka ile lesson tulifundishwa na Tisha Joseph? Uh -huh. Ninaona kuna wengi wanakubuka our lesson ilikuwa dealing with failure. Very good. Na baada ya kumaliza that lesson kuna homework ambayo alitupatia kwa lower classes you were to draw and color soul in the battle field. Draw and color soul in the battle field na kama uliweza kudownload ama ukaweza kujisholea tu vizuri na ukakala vizuri uliweza kujipatia 10 marks kwa hivyo msasi ukiwa pale nyumbani ama guardian unaweza msahishia mtoto na kama ameweza kupata 10 marks uh, tunaweza kumu appreciate uh -huh. god bless you uh, na kwa hawa wengine upper classes tulikuwa na our first question upper classes uh, the first question was, what is the meaning of the word feria? What is the meaning of the word feria? Hayan, kama uduweza kuadika kati ya hizi, number one, feria ama the meaning of the word feria. Feria is lack of success. Feria is lack of success, missing the required expectation, all inability to meet your goals. Kama uliweza kuadika hivo, uliweza kujipatia your two marks. Our next question ilikuwa, according to our story, name two people who died in the battle field. According to our story, uh, name two people who died in the battle. Na kama uliweza kuadika kati ya haa watu, na tuweza kufudishwa tu vizuri, A, the early soul's sons, the early soul himself, there is Jonathan, there is Abinandab. Uh -huh. Kama uliweza kuadika kati ya hizo, uliweza kujipatia two marks. Tunaendelea, our third question was, give three causes of failure. Give three causes of failure. Number one, negative thinking. Number two, unconfessed sin number three fear uh -huh. number four lack of plan the other one irikuwa curses kama uliweza kuadika tatu kati ya hizo that is three good marks the, our last question was list three ways of overcoming failure in our lives list Three ways of overcoming failure in our lives. Ya kwanza, you are supposed to depend on God. Depend on God. The other one is 
persistence, breaking curses, and handwork. Kama uliweza kufanya tu vizuri, na ukaweza kujibu maswali yote vizuri, that is 10 good marks. Na kama huku pata yote, unaweza fanya collection, na ninajua ya kwa mungu ataweza kukubariki tunapoendelea. So God bless you kwa kufanya that homework. Na ni vizuri wakati tunapewa homework, unafuatilia tamsasi, pia mtoto pale, anaweza kufanya ile homework, na itakuwa ya balaka. Na kwa sababu ya siku ya leo, lesson yetu ya siku ya leo, tumebalikiwa sana, na kuna mambo wabayo tutakayo jifudisha siku ya leo, kwa lesson yetu, kama vile unafiona hapa, our lesson today is the hand of the Lord is upon me. Mkono wa buwana, upo juu yangu. Kwa hivyo, Iyo ni jabo la maana sana ya kwa mkono wa mungu uko juu yangu, mkono wa mbwana uko juu yako. Na kwa leso ni yetu ya siku ya leo, kuna mambo wabayo tutaweza kujifudisha. And our story, the story of, uh, our story is coming from uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 1, up to 14. Na tunaona the story of a prophet Ezekiel and the dry bones. Sijui kama umewai soma hapo? It is in the Old Testament na tutaeza kujifudisha mabokadha pare na tutaeza kubarikiwa tunapo endelea with our story today which will be very interesting. Kama vile unaona hapa, uni Ezekiel. Ezekiel alikuwa na B wa mungu na mungu alikuwa na muongelesha, mungu alikuwa na mtebelea na walikuwa nafanya kazi na mungu kwa sababu ya alikuwa mejipatia na maisha yake kwa mungu. Na hapa wakati tunaona Ezekiel, tunaona, tunaona hapa ananenewa na loho wa mungu wa na baada ya kukujiwa na loho wa buwana, alikujiwa na kapelekwa sehemu fulani. Na mahali ya lipopelekwa na mungu, it was in a valley. Yeah? A valley na ile fali, hakukuwa na watu wabawa alikuwa uhai mahali pare, ilikuwa Ezekiel. Na that environment, about ilikuwa imejaa mifupa, kama vile tunavyoona. The fali was full of disjoined dry bones. So there was no life in that fali. Na wakati yalipo pelekwa pale, hakukuwa na uhai, kulikuwa so dry, kama vile tunasikia mambo ya those dry bones. It was so dry. So ni mahali pa kuogovia pia. Mahali unapelekwa, unaona tu mifupa ya watu, siwa wanyama watu, abawa walikuwa mekufa mahali pale. Na tunaona mifupa imejaa mahali pale. So ni kama ilikuwa mahali pa kuogovia. Ni jabo gani umewa hieda mahali ukaogopa? Aha. Ezekiel alikuwa katika ile hali. Lakini kwa sababu alikuwa na loho wa buwana. Do you know, when you have the spirit of God in you, hauta ogopa jabu lolote, wakati unatebea na mungu, you are not going to fear anything. Na divi unaona Ezekiel hakuwa mtu wa kuogopa because the heart of God, kama vile tumeona, tumetagulia with our story, the heart of God was upon him. When the heart of God is upon you, you are going to do great things. Sasa wakati ya lipo peleko wa mahali pare, Ezekiel wa dad allowed, akapeleko aka na loho wa buwana, akasunguka aka mahali pare, na akaeza kujionea. Kwa hivyo ni nataka uone mtu courageous when he received the spirit of God. He was able now not just to start there. Sio tu kuzimama pale ni mpaka sasa akaanza kweda loud na akaheza kujionea akionyeshwa na loho wa buwana. Na wakati ya lipo enda loud Ndiyo sasa mungu wakaasema ya kwaba, kama umu ni mtu jasiri, hata ya ukiwa mtu jasiri, ukienda pale shuleni, hata kuna subject unaona ni gumu sana, ni very hard like those dry bones, wakati unakuwa na ujasiri, loho wa buwana ako juu yagu, mkono wa buwana uko juu yagu, hauta o, juu yako, hauta ugopa jabu lolote, kwa hivyo akaenda pale, na wakati mungu waliona umu mtu nitafanya kasi na yeye, Na diyo, kwanza alikuwa nataka odorewe yule uoga. Na sasa uoga umetoka, ameanza kufanya kazi na mungu. Najua sasa ukiwa mtu muoga, uwezi fanya kazi na mungu. Kwa hivyo, akaanza. Na kwanza uoga unaletwa na, na fear. That, that fear is brought with lack of faith. So, the opposite of faith is fear. Kwa hivyo, sasa akawa na imani. Yako bayale mungu wataniambia, itaheza kutimilika. Kwa hivyo, akapewa guvu sasa. Na tunaona sasa hameinua mikono yake juu. Hameanza kutabiri. So, there is no way you can prophesy with the fear. Na sasa uoga umetoka na hameanza kutabiri. Na baada ya kuanza kutabiri, tunaona sasa ile ikuwa mifupa, abayo ilikuwa imekauka. Lakini sasa kwa sababu ya ule ujasiri na loho wa buwana na mkono wa buwana uko juu yake. Akaanza kuwabio na mungu. Kuna jabu aliulizo na mungu wakaulizo wa Ezekiel. Can these dry bones, wakati alikutumeona pisha hiyo igine, wakati alikuwa napeleko wa loud. Can these dry bones 
unbelief. Unajua Ezekiel alikuwa na B ambaye alikuwa anajulikana sana. Lakini yeye akaweka aka taito yake ya unabii shini na akasema it only you God who knows. Kwa hivyo kwa kila jabu ambayo tunalipitia ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba wewe na nguvu zako hautaweza pasipo kuwa nani? Pasipo kuwa Mungu. Kwa hivyo yeye akasema it only you God who knows. Na kwa hivyo Mungu akamkujia mkono wake ukakuwa juu yake na akaanza kutabiri. Baada ya kuanza kutabiri tuliona mifupa. Sasa mifupa imepata nyama, imepata misipa, imepata sasa ni watu wameanza kuwa watu wamelala pa However, there was uh, no life. Sasa tumeona metabiri mpaka watu wamelala pare kama miri. Lakini hakukuwa na uhai. Do you know what happened? Uh -huh. There is something that happened. Baada ya, ya, ya iyo picha venye tumeona, ameanza sasa kutabiri ameanza kutabiria hata upepo from four, four, from four corners imeanza kufika mahali pale na wale watu the breath of god ikaigia wale watu na baada ya the breath of god kuigia wale watu tumeona sasa biblia inasema ilikuwa jeshi kubwa sana jeshi ya wana wa Israeli ambao walikuwa wamepotesa matumaini ilikuwa imelala maha Ezekiel obeyed the Lord the, the Lord the body started breathing uh, first army started coming to life and starting to their feet tumeona baada ya kupata baada ya kutii Mungu akafika mahali pale akaanza kuprovisai na akamtabua Mungu yakoba ile kazi hawezi peke yake Mungu asipomsaidia akamsaidia sasa tumeona sasa ameanza kuwa na power of a nation sasa tumeona ametabiria ame hata upepo uka ukaweza kufika pale na ikawa the breath of god ikaingia wale watu na tunaona sasa wameingiwa wameingiwa na the breath of god na sasa tumeanza kuona wameanza kuinuka wakiwa jeshi kubwa sana ya watu ambao walikuwa wamekufa watu ambao walikuwa wame wame lose hope na sasa katika hii picha tunaona ya kwamba god explained to ezekiel sasa baada ya kuonyeshwa baada ya kwenda mahali pale na haya mambo yote naye mungu aka explain to ezekiel uh, the, the meaning of the vision these bones are the people of Israel they say our bones are dried up our hope is gone and we are cut off wana wa Israeli kuna wakati walikuwa wametekwa nyara wamepelekwa pale Babeloni na baada ya kupelekwa pale Babeloni walikuwa scattered like those bones so there was no hope hawakuwa na matumaini ya kwamba one day they will go back to their land one day th their hope will be restored hawakuwa na hao matumaini lakini Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu our god who ana fulfill yale ame promise na alikuwa ame, ame, ame fulfill alikuwa ame promise na sasa katika hii picha tunaona ya kwamba now go the Lord says, I will cause you to come out of your grace. Put my spirit on you. You will live again on your own lad. Sasa wameanza kupata matumaini. Ya vile ataenda kuelekeza na kuambia wala watu. Uh, na, na ya kwamba, katika hii picha tunaona ya kwamba, God did indeed his, uh, keep his promise. Na katika hii picha tunaona ya kwamba, baada ya miaka sa, sabini, 70 years, vile alikuwa metabiri, na baada ya kuonyeshwa ile fission, akaenda akaelezea watu, vile mungu watatenda, wataludi into their own land, na baada ya 70 years, because our God is a God who fulfill promises, akakuja na aka fulfill that promise, na watu wakaludi into their own land. God made it possible for the Jews to return to their own land. It was like a mighty dead army coming back to life. God always keep his promise. Na tunafulahia mungu wetu sana. Ebu tupigia mungu wetu makofi. Uh -huh. Ni kwa sababu mungu huwa anatimiza hadi. Sijui ni nini mungu wamekuwa hidi but in his di, wakati wake Wakati unaomba mungu, mungu wanaesa sema dio, mungu wanaesa sema gojea, ama maboigine ya pana. Lakini tunaona hapa anasema gojeeni, ninakuja kutimiza. Na kweli, after 70 years, mungu walikuja na hakaeza kutimiza ile ya hadi. Kwa hivyo, kwa jabu lolote ya balu na mtumaini ya mungu, don't give up, don't lose hope. When the hand of God is upon you, you are going to do exploits. Na katika ufenye tume kuwa katika our lesson, our, our story today, kuna mabu wabawu tutaeza kujifudisha. What happens when God's hand is upon you? What happens when God's hand is upon you? Ni mabu gani huwa inafanyika? Wakati mkono wa mungu, kama vile tumeona in our story, in Ezekiel, nini inafanyika? Wakati mkono wa mungu uko juu yako. Number one, you receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Unapokea gufu, saloho mtakatifu. 
unajua bila roho mtakatifu wa Bwana kuna sehemu hutaingia kuna mahali hutaenda kwa sababu wakati mwingine roho wa Bwana anakushukua anakupeleka katika mambo ambayo pengine hugeza kujipeleka mahali pale unapata ujasiri tunaona Ezekiel ina wastori alipata ujasiri hata kusimama katika mifupa ambayo ilikuwa imekauka ambayo haikuwa na matumaini ninaona ya kwamba wakati aliabiwa atabiri tunaona mifupa ilianza kurudi can you imagine mifupa ilikuwa imeashana disjoint kama vile tumeona ina wastori ilikuwa imeashana kama ni the hard ilikuwa kando mguu eh sehemu zote za mwili lakini Ezekiel wakati alianza kutabiri wakati alisema ni wewe tu mungu unajua akapata zile guvu the hand of god was upon him he prophesied through the spirit of god na baada ya hiyo akapata gufu za kufanya ile it is by the power of the holy spirit so, number two, you receive favor in your life Number two, you receive favor in your life. When the hand of God is upon you, wa, utaeza ku, 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 the, yani neema ya mungu ama the favor of God, it will be upon you. The favor of God ni wakati una, unaingia mahali, unapata ya kwamba, unapata kile kibari, bele, bele za watu, na hata bele za buwana. Ezekiel alipata kibari, bele za buwana, na akaweza kupata kile kibali na akaweza kufanya kazi na na Mungu ile kazi haikuwa rahisi ilikuwa kazi kubwa sana na pia alipata kibali kuongea mbele ya watu akawaambia ya kwamba Mungu anasema hivi watu walikuwa wanakaa pale kama vile tumeona ina wastori wanamsikiza why because he had favor with God number three, you receive power strength and courage kwa hivyo namba tatu you receive that power. Kuna mambo mengine hutaweza kufanya kama mkono wa Mungu hautakuwa juu yako. Ezekiel kama angekuwa na jiongoza na nguvu zake ama aseme mimi ni nabii, ni prophet ambaye anajulikana aanze kujiita mighty prophet ambaye anajulikana kila mahali, eh? Mambo mengine haigefanyika. Yeye mambo yale ilifanyika ni kwa sababu yeye alisema sio mimi na tumesikia mahali Mungu alimuuliza Ezekiel, hii mifupa inaweza ishi tena? Yeye akasema mimi Nimeweka unabi wangu shini lakini wewe Mungu ndiye unajua. Sasa akanyenyekea naye Mungu akaanza kumtumia. So he received that power because the hand of God was upon him. Aka receive that strength. Ile strength ya kufanya yale mambo yalifanya yote mpaka kuanzia jambo la kwanza mifupa mikafu pale mpaka ikasimama kuwa jeshi kubwa. Na the other thing is courage. Akawa na courage. Imagine mifupa ilianza kufanya kelele pale. Ile kelele yote mifupa ikirudi kila mfupa mahali pake, mtu akarudi mahali alikuwa mfupa wake ulikuwa ile kelele yote kama uhauge kuwa jasiri ugeza kustahimili yale mambo. Lakini ili alikuwa na ile courage. Why? Because the heart of God was upon him. The other thing is that tutaona ya kwaba benefit of having God's heart upon you. Ni, jab, ni mabogani, ni faida gani ya bayo utapata wakati mkono wa mungu utakuwa juu yako. Ni vizuri kuansia siku ya leo. Kama ulikuwa unajiongoza, ulikuwa unafanya mabo yako, pare bila mungu, ulikuwa unaona kama ya mabo yote ni wewe, ni, ni bidi yako. Kama unakuja na bawan, uh, unaona kama ni bidi yako, apana. It is good from today. Ujue ya kwa bana, ulikogonize. It is the heart of God, is, it is the heart of God upon you. Na tunaona na bawan. Able to make impossible things become possible. Wakati mkono wa mungu uko juu yako. Kuna mambo megine unaona ya kwaba. Hapa unasema siyo mimi ni mungu. Na unaona ya kwaba. Able to make impossible things. Kama kuna mambo huku unaelewa subject. Pegine huku unaelewa. Pegine ni pale nyubani. Kuna unapata ya kwaba. Kuna mambo haiedele visuri pale nyubani. Ama pegine kwa wazazi wako. Kwa watoto. Pale shuleni. Mambo unaona ya kwaba. Hii mambo ni kama umelusi hope. It is impossible. Lakini. When the heart of God is upon you. Those things will be possible. When you bring them before the Lord. Even through prayers. They will be possible. Number two, you bring hope and restoration to many. Wakati mkono wa mungu uko juu yako, unaretea watu wegine matumaini. Watu wabawa likuwa mepotesa matumaini. You know when the heart of God is upon you, unafanya mabome gine, hata watu wanakuliza, ulifanya hili jabo aje. Pegine ni kwa maths, ulikuwa unapata, ni grade gani shini zana ya maths ulipata last time. Iyo grade ya shini. Sasa pegine, next time unapata 80. Na unapata maths za juu sana. Eh? You exceed expectation. You see? Sasa watu wanakuliza, ilikuja aje ukapata hii grade ama ukafika hapa exceeding expectation. Na sasa unabia ya kwa ba, it is the heart of God. 
was upon me hata nikifanya haya maboyote. yote kwa hivyo hata wengine walikuwa wamepoteza matumaini yule store hope and restoration kwa hivyo tunaona ina wa story Ezekiel aliweza kuleta restoration kwa watu wengi ambao walikuwa wamepoteza matumaini the whole country you, you, when the hand of god is upon you you can bring restoration you can bring hope even to the entire nation kwa estate yenu mambo ambayo unaona hayedi vizuri when you have the, the hand of god being upon you wakati mkono wa mungu uko juu yako you are going to bring the uh, hope and restoration even in our residential area hata mahali unakaa in your estate hata in your county number 3 power to control your surroundings mahali unakaa kama ni pale shuleni pale nyumbani unajua when the hand of god is upon you you know the spirit of god is not limited haisemi huu ni mtoto huyu ni mzazi huu ni nani hapana when the hand of God is upon you, you receive that th the spirit of God and you are able to control your surrounding. Kama kuna mabu wabu unaona haifanyiki vizuri, fanya nimekuabia pale nyubani, in your estate, ata pale shureni. Wakati, when the hand of God is upon you, you are going to change those things. Tumeona Ezekiel, aliweza kukontrol, aliweza kuchange the surrounding ya yale mabu wabu ilikuwa ime wa surroundu wana wa izilaili wenye walikuwa mepotesa matumaini, mwenye alikuwa na power, even over the nation. Mabu wabu huoni hayedi vizuri, you have power over them. Why? That is only when the hand of God is upon, that is only when the hand of God is upon you. Now, we are going to have our memory first. Now, our memory first is from Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11. And it says, Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say our hope, are, our bones are dried up, and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Uh -huh. Let's read it together. Tuweze kusoma pamoja. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 11. Haya it says, let's read together. Then he said to me, Son of a man, son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say, mm -hmm, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Very good. In Siku ya leo, fenye tumesoma lesson yetu, na tumeona mabo mengi. Abayo pegine kuna sehemu fulani, umepoteza matumaini. Pegine umepoteza matumaini ya, ya, ya maisha. So, wakati unafika mwisho wako, hapo nae mungu anakuja. Tumeona haa watu abayo walikuwa mepoteza matumaini. It was very near. Walikuwa karibu sana wapate msaada wao. The 70 years was about to come to an end. Na diyo nabi wa mungu walikuja mkono wa mungu ukiwa juu yake. Kwa hivyo, kama ugetaka, Mabo yako ikuwe saa, umefika mwisho pale, umekua ukijiongoza. Unajua Ezekiel ofenye, tumeona inawa story. Ye alisema ye hajui, lakini mungu anajua. Haka mpatia uwezo, haka mpatia gufu, loho wa buwana, haka wajui yake. Na haka fanya hayo mabo yote tumeona. Sio kwa gufu zake, ni kwa gufu za mungu. Kama ugetaka kutebea na hizi gufu, kama ugetamani, mkono wa buwana uwe juu yako. Ukiwa pale shuleni, ukiwa pale nyubani, hata kama ye ni msasi. Na ama kama ye ni msasi, guardian, yeyote abaya na tutasama siku ya leo. Na wewe mtoto ukiwa pale kama ugetamani mkono wa Bwana uendelee kuwa juu yako na uendelee naye Mungu aendelee kukushidania kwa sababu hakuna vile mkono wa Bwana utakuwa juu yako then you be a failure you are going to be a victor utakuwa mshidi kwa hivyo kama ugetaka kumpokea Yesu Kristo awe mwokozi wa maisha yako Ni vizuri uludia hili obi nyuma yangu na ni ya kwaba. Utaeza kumpokea Yesu Kristo, mkono wa buwana uweju yako, na ataeza kukushidania. Sio tu ushidu wa hapa duniani, ata baada ya maisha haya, mkono wa buwana ukiwa juu yako, ataenda pamoja na wewe, na utapata kuulithi ufalme about tunasema ni wa milele, na wa milele about tunamini katika jina Yesu Kristo. Uludia hili obi nyuma yangu. Buwana Yesu, nimetabua siku ya leo, ya kwaba nimekua nikijiongoza, Katika safari yangu, nimekuwa nikitenda mambo wabaya haikufulahishi, lakini kuanzia siku ya leo, ni naomba ya kwamba uweze kuniosha, unisafishe na damu, abayo limuaga msalabani, na, nikawe, na, na mkono wako ukaweze kuwa juu yangu. Ninatamani uniongoze, na uweze kunilidhisha, na pia nikaweze kuwa mulithi wa ufalme wa milele na milele. Kuanzia siku ya leo, nimekukubali Yesu kuwa muokozi wa maisha yangu, na mkono wako uedele kuwa juu yangu. Na, na kuansia siku ya leo nimeokoka katika jina la Yesu Kristo, sema amen. Amen. 
Uh -huh. Kama umeza kumpokea Yesu Kristo kuwa mwokosi wa maisha yako ni vizuri ujue. Kwanzia siku ya leo, yale mabu wabohu hugeza kufanya. When the hand of God is upon you, you are going to do the impossible. The impossible will be possible in Jesus' name. So, kwa wakati huu tutaingia kwa our homework na kwa hawa wadogo, uh, uh, lower classes, our homework, draw and color prophet Ezekiel and the dry bones. Draw and color prophet Ezekiel and the dry bones. Kwa hivyo unaeza download, mzazi unaeza kudownload a copy and, and print on mbcimedia.com slash kids. Ukifanya hivyo, mungu ataeza kukubariki. That is 10 marks akiweza kudownload ama ajishole na ese kukala tu vizuri. That is 10 marks. For the upper classes, our first question was list two things that happen when God's hand is upon you. Our first question is, list two things that happen when God's heart is upon you. Number two, light two benefits of having God's heart upon you. Number two, light two benefits of having God's heart upon you. That is, our first question was four marks. Our second question, that is four marks. Then we have number three. According to our story, the dry bones represents, uh -huh. according to our story, the dry bones represents mifupa mikafu. Uh -huh. Kwa hivyo, siku ya leo tumebalikiwa sana, na ninajua ya kwamba, hata wewe umeza kubalikiwa with our lesson today. Na kwa hivyo tutaweza kuomba pamoja na tuweze kutamazisha our lesson today na ninajua ya komba umeweza kubalikiwa. Si umebalikiwa? Uh -huh. Tamani mkono wabwana uedele kuwa juu ya maisha yako. Ebu tuweze kuomba. Mungu wetu na baba yetu tunakuinua siku ya leo. Tunalihimidi jina lako na tunasema ni asanti. Asanti kwa sababu ya fudisho yetu ya siku ya leo. Abayo buwana majeshi umetusaidia ya kwamba. Wakati mkono wako uko juu yetu. Tutaweza kufanya mambo abo hatungeweza kufanya na guvu zetu. Kama vile uliweza kumsaidia na mbiye Zekiel. Akaweza kutabilia mifupa abayo likuwa imekauka. Ime na pia ni wana wa Israel abayo likuwa mepoteza matumaini. Na baada ya hawa yote uliwapatia restoration na hope. Na siku ya leo tunaomba ya kwamba. Sisi abayo tulikuwa wengi tumepoteza matumaini we had no hope my god my savior tunaomba siku ya leo tusaidie tunaomba utulenjeshe tunaomba utusaidie kutembea my father na mkono wako ukiwa juu yetu ni asanti kwa sababu ya wale umeokoa mungu wetu na baba yetu ninaomba ya kwamba uadumishe na upat, na uongoze na roho wako mtakatifu uwe juu yao ili waezeshe kufanya mambo habayo hawageweza kujifanyia wakati walikuwa wanajiongoza tunakuinua mfalme tunaomba uzidi kuwa pamoja nasi na mkono wako uendelee kuwa juu yetu tunakuinua nua na tunalihimidi jina lako na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata na kuamini tuseme amen amen haleluya so god bless you shalom mungu akulinde na mkono wake uendelee kuwa juu yako amen we will go, we will be.